Ah, to be king of the jungle. Master of your domain. Respected by all creatures great and small. Or sometimes, not so much. I really need to rinse, George. Elephants, make space in water hole for ape. No hurry, ape. George Elephant Whisperer. Elephants move, okay? Hey, no. Don't make George ask more nicely. Okay, that it. Here it come. Please move now. See, elephant respect, king of jungle. I'm afraid not. What? Elephants respect lions more than George, king of jungle? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> not respect, fear. Fear? Uh, what that mean? Oh, fear, yeah. Fear make elephants and George run. It is a powerful motivator. So, if George be like scary lions, then animals do what George say. I suppose, but that's not... Wow, it worked! George! Elephants scared of lions. Lions scared of lava. George bet all animals listen to Volcano George. I don't even know what that means! <laughs> Burning rock good. Whoa! Lava scared of Ursula, lion scared of lava, elephant scared of lions, so George must be like Ursula. Wait, what Ursula afraid of? Ursula fear nothing! Oh, you don't, do you? Quiet, Sky Voice! You're not even a little afraid of the Bush Baby of Doom? <laughs> I'll have to remember that. What Bush Baby of Doom? Oh, it's just evil, George. Pure evil. It looks in the heart of the jungle, where it's wreaked terror since the beginning of time. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And the Bush Baby of Doom. Everyone fears the Bush Baby. Then George go to Heart of Jungle and learn to be like Bush Baby. Then all animals listen to George. Are you sure you want to do that? Ah! What just happened? How did we get here? George, use edit. Now this right place for Doom Baby? Few animals venture into the dark heart of the jungle. For the Bush Baby of Doom is so feared, so dreaded. Okay, okay, we get it. George, uh, do that edit thing again. No, George learned Bush Baby's secret first. Aww, wait, no fair. It's cute. <laughs> Look, Ape, not scary, cuddly. George, be careful. <laughs> Don't need the jungle to fear you, George. Everyone loves and respects you already. <laughs> Leave baby rhino alone! <laughs> hey, George, serious! <laughs> Listen to George now, okay? Hey! Animals listen to George. They, they certainly did. Um, what are those? Oh, ape, those fingers. Fingers. George, I'm worried about you. You seem different. You crazy ape. Me same old George. Ah! Huh? 
Uh, the... <laughs> I've seen this sort of thing before. Either your father was a jungle yeti. Ow! <laughs> or someone's been bitten by the bush baby of doom. He was definitely bitten, and clawed, and chewed, and then bitten again. But how did this happen? Well, everyone knows that anything bitten always turns into whatever bit it. Huh. Maybe George should have finished lunch then. George is turning into a bush baby. Oh, do. Is there a cure? Nope. George will go full bush baby by Thursday. Unless. Unless what? Unless it happens on Wednesday. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> But what if something else bite George first? Hmm. George, ready? Do it, Rocky. Give George big chomp. George, rocks can't bite. And why would you want to be a rock anyway? Hey, what it got against rocks? Look, why didn't we get a human to bite you? How did you do that? <sighs> Don't ask. What happened to you? <sighs> it's a long story. Magnolia bite George, please. What? Gross! No, you're covered in hair. Just one nibble. Good for science. Hey, I'm the scientist here, so I decide what's for science. And biting George is definitely not for science. <laughs> you're not Jungle Yeti. <laughs> George, feel funny. What? <laughs> there! George, George again! Right? Maybe if we mix in some cute and majestic, we can get you back to normal. Ah, you get bunnies to bite George? Not exactly. Be brave. <laughs> it work? Not exactly. Ow. Hey! Ow! Ow! How George look now? Uh, uh. Rescue now! Fix George later! Uh, George, wait! Oh boy. Jersey horse should be careful playing around edge of. Oh! oh. There, there. It okay. George, return baby bird nest to tree. Ah, 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 stop! George, help! Wait! What birdie doing? George, friend! George, you lucky incredible! Uh, Magnolia not think George monster? No, you're definitely a monster, but maybe a Nobel Prize winning monster! <laughs> Come out, George. The jungle needs its king. George not king. George monster. Even rocks and trees run from George. But George love you! Oh, thanks a lot, Rock. Now, Darkness, George's only friend. Darkness and Moss. Thanks a lot, Moss. Oh, come on! Oh, George just wanted respect. Now me just want to be normal. I have one last idea, but you might not like it. Bring it out! Bring what out? Hey! Bush Baby of Doom, this monster George Cave! Are you sure this is gonna work? No idea. Bite him! Bite him, George! You ruin life! Take this, Bush Baby! Stage one complete. You're leaving without George? Am I?
George, like, Bison, King of Bungle. Jungle, King of the Jungle. <laughs> oh, George. Many of you have worried about George. Has he been cured? Or is he still a disgusting, deformed combo beast? Well, see for yourself. <laughs> Kind of like George. Ow! Oh, close enough for me. Ow! Tree by George! Hey, George always won't have tree hair. <laughs> it's the oldest of questions. What drives man to pit himself against the wild, to challenge Mother Nature herself to a no-holds-barred cage match of epic proportions? Thanks for the warm-up, ladies, but I'm hunting big game today. For Tiger Titheridge, it's to become legend and be crowned this year's Master of Macho. But this year's competition is fierce. Grizzly Lady Bear took the dreaded Lasersaurus down like a clown. Mako Manswim Jr. captured the hyper-cunning Great White Smark. And King Cobra snagged the Emperor of Yetis after a 72-hour toboggan chase. Wait, it looks like this hunt isn't over. Tiger has only one day left to out-hunt them all. And to do that, he needs to catch the one. The only Chupacabra. You're mine! Oh. Revol! Oh, hi, Tiger. I think I'm allergic to everything in this jungle. And, um, headlocks. It's here. Don't drop your guard for a second, Weevil. Don't even blink. Not blinking. George say about hunting animals, huh? Tiger and Weevil get naughty fingers. <laughs> it's not just an animal. Blah, it's the Chupacabra. Chupi Cooby Doo? What Chupi Cooby Doo? <laughs> no, George, the Chupacabra. It's the trickiest and most dangerous of all Mother Nature's nasties. When the other predators tell scary stories at meat camp, it's always about the chupacabra. The steaks were gone. The chupacabra had replaced them with arugula. <laughs> Killer whales were originally land dwellers. Chupacabra, waiting until we were distracted by the narrator. George, rescue Weevil from Chupicubu. Not so fast, Jungle Pants. But George, save Weevil. This is your fault. You triggered that cutaway with your Chupicubu nonsense. Talk like a real person. You are going to help me avenge Weevil's loss. Tiger! But Weevil not lost yet. He's a goner. I'm really not. He was a loyal assistant. He carried rope like a champ, creased maps like a pro, and operated a microwave like a boss. Rest in peace, little guy. Can someone just please rescue me? You owe me, George. So you'll help me catch this chupacabra that struck poor Weevil down in his prime. I'm still alive! Got it, Leaf Eater. George coming, Weevil! I'll take your naked enthusiasm as a yes. You have to understand! Chupacabra is a truly worthy opponent. He's my nemesis, my arch enemy, my numero uno enemy type guy. But I'll show him Mano a Chupacabra. <laughs> Chupacabra! 
For fruit! What if baby banana gets stepped on? Or eaten by monkey? Or mistaken for fat, tiny boomerang? It would learn to survive and become stronger! Abandoned by its own kind, the banana cub would be forced to face its worst fears and crush them. In time, it would become more than just a banana. A banana to fear, a banana to respect, a macho banana. An alpha banana, making the rest of its kind look like fancy organic plantains. Fierce and noble, yet lonely. Oh, that okay. George Orphan too. I was talking about the banana. <laughs> That's what tough tastes like. <laughs> We've got a chupacabra to catch. <laughs> The lair of the Chupacabra. Chupi Kubu. Time for a visit from Mr. Catchy and Mr. Sleepy. No, saving better than hunting. Whoa! Forget it, hippie. Man was meant to conquer nature, not make friends with it. He was meant to have an amazing jawline and use muscular words like Chesterfield and ripcord. Not swing through the jungle in a tacky loincloth. Yeah? How tiger hunt without bang sticks? Ha! <laughs> Don't eat them. Meet Goodnight Charlie and Mrs. Bash. They're registered weapons. I have to check them when I fly. If you survive this, I'll be very, very surprised. Oh boy. Here, George, go. <laughs> As if. What in Hemingway's name? Oh, hi, Tiger. Hmm, you hungry? That chupacabra fellow left me all this delicious food. And boy, he makes a fantastic smoothie. It's good to have you back, Weevil. Hi, uh, thanks, Tiger. Uh, you know I'm bait, right? Of course, that's classic chupacabra, using my own lackey against me. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like the taste of your mustard chupacabra. I've got a place all ready for you on my trophy wall, right between a polar bear and a T-Rex. I see. Yay! Go, Tiger! by gravity. George, I left you behind to get eaten. No, oh, George, no. But in unexpected twist, plant allergic to papaya conditioner George using hair. George always say, Take care of hair, and hair take care of you. Okay, but you still saved someone more fundamentally awesome than you. Why? Because George Orphan 2. <laughs> George left alone in jungle with no one in world to help. Until it found George. My, aren't you cute and hairless? Only difference between George and Tiger is George had ape. What if Tiger was saved by Big Monkey too? Maybe he'd be nicer person. Blah, blah, blah. Get this straight. I don't need saving from nature. Nature needs saving from me. <laughs> You 
you dare! <laughs> Classic chupacabra. But get a load of a real man's pits. Boom! And that's how it's done. Meet this year's master of macho. Come on, Weevil. Tiger sure he won't do that? Give Chupi Kubu second chance so Monster can change ways and live new life. Here, you beautiful monster. Tiger? Happy now? George, proud of Tiger. I didn't say he'd shut up about your mushy, hippie feelings. I don't even get a trophy now. Tiger still get trophy. Like a golden pat on the back and a first place kiss on the cheek. I am the master of macho. Good for Tiger. Turns out king of the jungle trumps emperor of the yetis. How long George have to stay here? Until next year. At least George have company. <laughs> Is that papaya in your hair? I think I'm allergic. <laughs> Mother. Life in the jungle is never easy. But for George, some days are harder than others. A smashing job, George. Nearly got it. Well, uh, George really used hand here, eh? Sorry, George. As your mentor, I feel it's my role to supervise. <laughs> Come up, crispy skin. <laughs> Ow. <sighs> Look, meet George Snake. Droll, George. Very droll. While this looks like a joke to you and me, to a mongoose, the natural enemy of snakes, this just isn't funny. <laughs> growl, growl. Squeak, squeak. Oh, sorry, George. My mongoose is a bit rusty. <laughs> no, not funny at all. There, all better. Now, George, return you to herd. Ursula Wild Girl, so mean. Why does the sun come up? Why is the sky blue? Why is Ursula so mean? Some things have no answer. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like it hurts. No touching! Magnolia! It's horrible! That tickles! Ah, Magnolia okay? Animals, I need them to trust me. <laughs> and nothing builds trust like a good tickling. <laughs> <laughs> George, these crocs are excellent ticklers. <laughs> what George doesn't know is that while crocs love tickling, Tickled. they hate being tickled. <laughs> Do something! <laughs> he needs our help! Oh, phew. Why can't George be mentor or wild girl or do science thingy sometime? Why not indeed? Who say that? Can't he talk? Oh, I can do more than just talk. I'm a hypno-lotus. 
You can help George try be someone else? Just introduce me to these someone else's, and it'll be a pleasure. What? <sighs> Take me to your friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> George loved laughing. <laughs> uh, what funny again? <laughs> now we all here. George wants you to meet new planty friends. Ah! If no lotus, get rid of it before! <laughs> huh. George thought ape say something. No, no, no. Now, get a good night's sleep, Jungle King. Tomorrow's your first day as a mentor. Uh, uh, today, George tells someone else what to do. Hmm, wonder who knew Jungle King. Ah! Ah! <laughs> good morning, Jungle King Ursula. It's me, your mentor. Ah! No good morning. Now, Ursula, as mentor, George feel that... Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, help! Stop! Use wisdom of mentor, George. Okay. George, ow! Not ow! Good at ow! Yes. Ah! Uh, Jungle King, Ursula, go see! <laughs> Ah, Ursula, Miss Fun. <laughs> Wild Girl Magnolia, okay? Do I look okay? I hate living outside. I'm allergic to mud. There's bugs in my ears. And when I try to roar, it hurts my throat. Good. <laughs> Big one's juicy. That is my tenth one today. Why? Why would I ever be a wild girl? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> hey, anybody see Ape? It's me, Mentor, Ursula Jungle King, and Magnolia Wild Girl, then Ape. Oh, Ape! Ape! Aw, George thought he had brain answer. <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ursula, mean Jungle King. Ah! Magnolia not happy as wild girl. George bad mentor. And now George lose ape. Oh, that's terrible news. Um, what that? Let's mix things up again. George, time for you to go wild. <laughs> Wild girl George better than mentor George. <laughs> oh, breakfast. Hey now, what you doing? Wild girl George hunt mighty water buffalo. Oh, you gotta want it, son. George, fierce. I've heard better roars from a sloth. That one in particular. <laughs> Terrible wild girl! Ah, oh, sorry, bud. No hard feelings. Here, take a bite. It'll be our little secret. Mm-hmm. What Ursula doing? Science! Uh. Ursula, stop! No, wait. George, not King Jungle. Hey, we're Jungle King. What's the problem, George? Being wild girl hard, and George lose ape and magnolia. Plant talk! Of course, plant talk. Wait, that weird? Ursula, no like talking plant. Time for science! George, shoot! 
sure that's not right. Relax, George. Uh, Why don't we change it up one more time? But. Uh, time for George to do science. George, make life better with science. There, science play machiney thingamadoodle. George loves science, but science no love George. George not good wild girl either, or mentor. All very hard. No, George best as king, king of jungle. George still got it. George wants to put things back normal. Uh -huh. What? Hey, we're friends. Search me, buddy. Wait. If George was mentor, George would say something smart now. Yes. George would. Use brain, George. Think. George. Think. Friends. On vacation! Oh, this is too painful. I'm eating them, okay? <gasps> Bad talky plant! <laughs> George, unleash wild girl George! George no need escape when George have science. George makes special dinner for good friends. Lotus salad for everyone. This is a surprise, George. What's the occasion? No more thinking, fighting buffaloes, or science explosions. Being king, best job for George. That's a Wonderful, George, but none of us have any idea what you're talking about. And why is Ursula's half-digested hair in my salad? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm gonna... Ah! Ursula, unmouth Magnolia this instant! Yep, things all back to normal. The Mighty Jungle King. Seen here making his famous triple bean chili, wants nothing more than to help his jungle. I like to help too. The salt's over there, George. Thanks, magic voice. But sometimes even George's best efforts can bring about the very jungle chaos he seeks to quell. For example, saving jungle <laughs> lobsters from a dried up pool is a noble act. Oh. Uh... But a hasty move on George's part ruins a jungle penguin pool party. And dooms the penguins to a slow, sun-baked extinction. When an extra small giraffe can't reach extra delicious leaves, the jungle shirtless hero swings into action. George helped little stretchy horse. But leaves don't just feed giraffe. He's right, George. The leaves hide those monkeys from tree tigers. Uh... And so, after trying to help, but only making things worse... Chili almost ready for George. Sorry about mistakes. He made Chili Cave sleepover. That's very thoughtful, George. <laughs> That's very terrible, George. How could you put so many beans in that chili? And then eat it all yourself? And then make that smell! <laughs> oh, it's stuck in my nose! Oh. George not mean to make bad smelly. George, go feel sad alone. Oh. George, wait! It wasn't that bad. Oh, but 
much better. The Jungle King knows his mistakes ruined a penguin pool party, got a bunch of monkeys eaten, stunk the heck out of a cave. Okay, okay. George, no problems, all George's fault. Be quiet, Sky Voice. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you have had a rough day, buddy. Who talk? Sky voice again? No, no, I'm just a guy telling another guy, hey, don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Really? George make many mistakes. Nah, you just got things right the wrong way. Other people might understand that if you dressed a little better. Ooh. Ooh. Tiny! <laughs> Aren't I? <laughs> My name's Balzac, and I was made for a body like yours. Try me on. Wait, why talking loincloth want George to have new loincloth? Because you deserve it. And because I'm very, very sparkly. Okay. <sighs> beware! Oh, beware what? This loincloth! <sighs> George Ford. <laughs> with pocket! <coughs> hey, that's my mouth. George, sorry, Baldak. You probably think a talking loincloth is pretty weird. George, okay with it. All right, then. Hey, do a loincloth a favor and open that tiny little door over there. Whoa! George, creepy. George, no, no. Okay, fair point. Tell you what, let's take your new loincloth out for a spin first. Yeah! Is evil. Ugh. Hour two of wishing these boring elephants would do something not boring. George, help! Be more fun, elephants! <laughs> All kind elephant stuff, see now. George, don't flatten half the jungle! Whoa, whoa, this isn't your fault. Those elephants should be harder to scare. It's not George's fault? Seriously? Who would you rather listen to? A scientist or your underwear? Are you wearing sequins? <sighs> Another hundred thousand or so trips and the lobsters will be ready to move right back in. <laughs> George, fix dry pond, make more water come. Did I ask how? And what are you wearing? George, make big river come this way. Pond will be super wet soon. Now, maybe. Oh, no. George, you didn't fix the pond. You flooded everything else instead. Um, sorry, ape. Big wet mistake. George, fix. Hey, who let the river get so big? Someone else really dropped the ball here. Who dropped ball? Who cares? It's not your fault. Who are you talking to? Loincloth. Oh, uh, of course. George, did you eat the orangutan's sacred banana? <laughs> banana shouldn't taste so good. You threw away the magic boomerang? Should have come back. You ate the Giganticonda's lunch so it had zebras instead? Snake should, should have made, made two sandwiches. sandwiches. <laughs> George, no, it looked bad. But why blame George? <laughs> Everyone is nice to George's butt mouth. It's not their fault, pal. They just need to relax. Hey, I know how you can help your buddies. Yeah, George just want help. Apocalypse. Big door still creepy. And old sloth looks scared. Old people are always scared. Your friends need relaxing, supportive undergarments like me. Then they'll stop blaming you for everything. Balls act very soft on bottom. Make George feel good about George. Then crack that door open and make your friends feel good about themselves, too. Now what? 
George done here? <laughs> you are free, brother! Let us weave our loom and doom with every synthetic fiber of our being. <laughs> George think that laugh sounded a little too evil. Coffee! Don't keep stuffing me! That important? You've opened the fitting room of forever and released the underworld underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it has begun. It cannot be unbegun. Our elastics will lay waste to every waste. Our thermals will smother and stifle. We want to wear you. You will be filled with holes and thrown away! You will get stuck in a tight, dark place for eternity! Hey, why you ruin bananas like that? Because if I don't squish them, these squish me! Tiny paints, very bad! Help George stop them all! I'd love to, George, but I don't think I can. Okay, okay! I'm doing it. Observed in its natural habitat, underwear is clearly superior to people. Go, oh, this is nonsense! Ow, 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 okay, okay, um, um, they should never be worn again, and instead, we should let them wear us. Magnolia, evil undies up to no good! Use science to stop them! I wish I could! Underwear on a head is supposed to be hilarious! <laughs> oh, George, fault! Come on, that old sloth took way too long to warn you. Blame him. No, George listened to Buttmilk too much. George, take blame and take off undies. Give it your best shot. <laughs> I'm a perfect fit. We all are. And we're never coming off. Right. Then George, get all you undies in bunch. That was horrible. George, what are you doing? George, get covered in undies and seal himself in vault. Undies trapped, jungle safe. Stop! <clears throat> hey, I'm squeezing things pretty tight. Why aren't you stopping? <clears throat> pain of big mistake more than pain in underwear places. George, there has to be another way. <clears throat> You'll starve inside the vault. That's called responsibility, George thinks. <clears throat> George, don't blame yourself. This is all my fault. So let me lose. No! No! What is that? George fill up on chili so he survive until lunchtime. <laughs> Get off of him now! A man George, you were willing to trap yourself in there to save the rest of us. Yeah, was right thing to do. It all George's fault. He admit making boo-boos in future. Deal? <laughs> <laughs> Why nobody make eye contact with George? We need to find your old loincloth. 